We're going to build this hover effect using one of the most overlooked and powerful properties in the history of CSS, scaling along the Z axis. Three steps, setting a child perspective, moving the Z position of child elements, and scaling along the Z axis. Before we get started, let's get some context on this page. Three div blocks. These make up a pricing table for what uncontroversially look like delicious cupcakes. These are the div blocks we're going to be scaling. The key here, what we're doing, is affecting the Z position for a bunch of child elements, children of each pricing block. So we want to confirm that we've added a children perspective. We're simply adding a children perspective to our section, effectively setting the whole section to behave as a sort of camera. We've already applied a slight rotation to the pricing blocks, and that 3D effect comes from the children perspective. You can see that in real time, right on the canvas as we make the adjustment. That's children perspective. Let's move stuff. Since we're using classes, since we've applied classes to each of our elements here, we can simply adjust the Z position for these classes, and they don't have to be the same. For each class, for each type of element here, we can adjust the Z position. Notice how we're not styling in the hover state, we're just grabbing each element and adjusting its Z position. That's moving stuff. Finally, let's set up the actual scaling. We can essentially flatten everything we just did by transforming, affecting scale along the Z axis. The problem is, if we go too low, the pricing block will end up entirely removed from the space-time continuum. So we have to compromise, maybe a very small number, and that will flatten things out. Then on hover, this is where the magic happens, we can go back to that transform and instead return it to its original value. We can go higher or lower, really anything here, but we'll choose one. Now, pressing the escape key can quickly unselect everything, and we can go to preview mode and see how this works out. And we're seeing now on the page, we have the core effect working just fine. Let's smooth it out with a transition. We'll add a transition to the pricing block, and we'll make sure it affects the transform property, since that's what we're looking to animate. All we have to do from here is set a duration that's maybe a bit longer than 200 milliseconds. 201 milliseconds, or 500. Same thing here. Go to preview, hover over, and we're getting that effect animated in all its glory. Now, there are tons of things we can do here. We don't just have to affect scaling along the z-axis, so with our pricing block selected, we can make sure that when we're hovering over in the hover state, rotation can be affected at the same time. We can simply adjust our rotation to be a bit more dramatic, so when we hover over the finished product, the varying z positions combined with that rotation really draw attention to the parallax. And we can adjust our animation curve on this effect to be even more explosive. And we can make things super dramatic. But here, we've set a children perspective. We moved various children of the pricing block along the z-axis, then configured scaling along the z-axis to create an exploding elements effect on hover.